I am Joshua, and this is Rockstar Math Productions. Okay, today's lesson's on algebraic expressions and typically um, translating phrases such as one more than y into algebraic expressions. Obviously, this is a verbal phrase. So one more than y, you might say, well, that's just one plus y. So we're looking for target language. Uh, in that. Uh, I'm going to start by debriefing the, debriefing the flipped assignment, which is uh, having kids just make some general notes on uh, some of the examples in the book. Uh, and then we're going to divide up into two groups. One group will uh, work in shoulder pair buddies, and uh, I'll work with another group. And specifically have them work on whiteboards and as a means of format of assessment, where I'll give them some phrases like this and see if they can uh, kind of translate these back from phrases into expressions and also back again. Uh, I'd like to kind of cap it though with uh, the conundrum of this, uh, four less than five. And this is a typical misconception that students have when they are translating an expression like this, or a phrase into an expression. When they see this, they think, well, the four comes first, so less than means minus, and five is at the end, so it must be at the end of here. But they know four less than five is one. And by doing it this way, we find that actually they get negative ones. So uh, reading the problem carefully and doing a similar problem in their head is a great strategy. We'll try to utilize some of our problem solving strategies that we've taught early uh, in the first week of school, uh, such as reading the problem carefully and making a similar problem. is also a fraction is also a division problem. It's asking you to divide one into two parts. And each of those would be a half. So that's also a good, excellent good. Now with these we can put together some phrases, you know. For example, um, how I said this over here, June's age. What would I have to do to make an equation? Now I'm going to translate this down to a phrase. And a phrase is nothing with symbols or numbers or variables or anything. It's going to be only words. So to translate this, it's actually be something like this. 7 minus y. So notice that it means the same thing, but the phrase is just an English kind of translation of it. Yeah. So I'm going to give you guys an example over here. This time, I'm going to use this. I'm going to say, uh, no, just look. Okay. First of all, is this a expression or a phrase? It's a phrase. It's going to be a little bit harder. Now keep in mind, I want you to think about as you read this expression and you read this phrase what the answer is. Here it is. Three less than five. So here's the phrase. Three less than five. I don't want you to check your answers with the person next to you. Just write it and hold it up. I hope to have as many different answers as possible. I'll just hold it like this so I can see. Jacob, what do you got? Here it is. Three less than five. Interesting. Now, if you look at Jacob and Noah, and no, yours is okay, Jacob, and Jim, they have this. Three minus five. You guys have this. The five first. Does it matter? Yeah. Are you going to have the same answer for these two problems? No, you're not. So think about that for a second. Do this in your head. 
What is 3 less than 5? How'd you do? Three? Cool. Thanks, no, no, no. Okay.